Hello everyone and welcome to a video review of Transformers Generations Legends Class Optimus Prime. Um, you may notice my voice is weird. In the uh, words of Hank Green, I have tiny chickens in my head. So, I'm not feeling very well. But, I figured I liked this setup a bit better than my old setup after I tried it with the Rhinox video. And yes, while it does feel like I'm blatantly ripping off Vault Matrix, it also feels a lot more natural to do reviews this way because you get a better look at the toy. So, a couple of things I'm going to say about this. I do love the Legends class figures because they are small and I can carry them with me. I do not love them for, well, their lack of articulation. I mean... It's Optimus Prime, I kind of expected this, but his legs are solid pieces. There is no articulation here whatsoever. There's a bit at the hip. Well, there's a little ball at the hip. It's a little restricted by the hip joint itself. Um, there is a bit of this kind of motion in the shoulder, uh, which I'm blanking on what kind of joint this is, but it stops right there. Uh, oh, it's a ball joint. There we go. Uh, it stops right there. There's a little bit of resistance until you get past that point. Uh, he has a little ball joint at his elbow. There is nothing in the head. Head goes down, head goes up. What are you going to do? It does go with a cool sword, though. I mean, it's a solid chunk of red plastic, but it's... Shroom, 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 shroom. Which, thankfully, with the articulation, you can get a cool little, like, to battle! type of pose with him, which is kind of nice, especially if you have a bunch of little guys like I do. You can kind of make it look like the Autobots are going up against the Decepticons. Uh, this is a Legends class, so transformation is super duper easy. Like, don't even worry about it that easy. So, take away the sword. Sword goes there. I'm going to flip around the hips. Yeah, that's the other thing. He has a fake grill in robot mode, which I understand why it's a fake grill. It'd be very hard to make a real grill uh, with this tiny of a toy. It just makes him look silly. Uh, and here we have Energon Optimus Prime. You know, Fatimus Prime. No, that's a chest. So flip around his hips. The legs feel like they should connect, and in fact they do. There's a little peg. A little peg right there. See it? See the peg? It's a little hole on the other side, and you can kind of Clip them together if you line it up properly. There we go. It it never looks right from this angle, by the way. This angle always looks terrible. Like that. And now we have... Yeah, his head just kind of naturally fell over. You're going to push in the head. Like that. Some people do it first. I do it after the legs. Because I'm weird. Uh, you're kind of going to fold back the arms. And line up the fists with the front piece, like that. We're going to repeat that on the other side. Now we have the sword, and this is the only part that bugs me about the sword. It does not go into his transformation anywhere, but in this hole, in the back of his head. So, that's not conspicuous at all. Semi-truck, front, flat nose, with a sword sticking out of it that looks suspiciously like Optimus Prime's sword. Except for the sword, there's no robot kibble, really. I guess a little bit in the feet here, but you can you could say that's the hitch. I like the little guys for the fact that robot kibble almost never carries over, like it does in the big figures. I have to give them props there. Again, just like my Megatron one, which I'm going to redo Megatron in this format eventually. I just want to get the other little guys done. All the Legends class from Generations or Universe... I'm going to double check which one it was. Uh, I found these at Dollar General for like six bucks. I don't know where you'll find them. Um, I have seen them at Big Lots, if you have a Big Lots in your area. And I imagine they're available on Amazon. And I'll put links down below if I find that to be true. So, that's it for Optimus Prime. Do I have another Optimus Prime? Somewhere. Somewhere in storage, there is an Armada Optimus Prime, who I would love to do in a review one day. For right now, we're stuck with Generations, or Universe. Still, 
Optimus Ryan. You need him. You want him. And he's not bad for your little figures to rally behind. Also, for some reason, I'm just going to throw this out there, transformation into robot mode, so much easier than going back into vehicle mode. Uh, and I do like the peg on the back of his head for storage of the sword in robot mode, because it's less noticeable. Also, just throwing this out there, it's a silly little feature, but you can actually make him use the sword as a gun, which is stupid. But it's cool. It's cool. So, that's Optimus Prime, folks. Do a little dance. Thanks for watching, and stay golden, everybody.